I'm very proud of the team. Man, it was a total team win. We're definitely uh, happy to have Jalen and DeAndre back <laughs> for that front court, uh, the rim protector. And man, even though they were tired, they gave it their all. So I'm, I'm really proud of the effort from the team today. Steven. Jalen, how good was it just to be back on the court? I know you missed two lane game and you guys had the pause before that. So how good did you feel just kind of be back out there? Um, it, was, it was exciting to come back out with my teammates and compete. Um, I mean, sitting up at home wasn't too fun. So to be back out here on the court is, is definitely exciting. Any any fatigue or, or any lingering effects from not having played since December 14th? Uh, I mean, a little, little rust in the beginning, but kind of once I got going, that was kind of cool. How about those mid-range? I mean, I know that's always been a part of your game, but up until this point, since you got to Memphis, you hadn't showed it quite like that. So take us through. I, I think you hit like four or five of them. So uh, that was that was really working well for you today. Um, just constant reps. I mean, last night, me and the coach and all the bigs were kind of just getting a lot of reps in, getting like, like a good workout in. And those were like the same shots we were working on last night. And I just came in, felt confident in them, and just was knocking them down. Was yeah. there any question that, I mean, like, when did you know you'd be playing today? Uh, a couple of days ago. I uh, got to practice with the team, got to get going. Yeah, the poker arena is always a tough place to come in and play. You guys seem to take the crowd pretty quick. Uh, what was that like for you guys? What do you think worked early on for you guys? Just sticking together, honestly. Um, sticking with the game plan, sticking to what the coaches are saying, and just knowing what we got to do to get the win. I mean, of course, the crowd is going to come into effect at some points, but honestly, I, I felt like we stayed together in those in those moments and pulled out the win. What did you feel like you guys had success with on defense? Getting stops. I mean, we, uh, we protected the room, I feel like, fairly enough, and we kind of stopped some of their guys. We kind of held them under their average, I think. But honestly, I feel like as a team, we collectively we came together, got us, got the stops that we needed in the game, and came out with the win. I'd like to get your reaction to Josh Minot's performance today. Uh, it was amazing. It was amazing. I mean, Josh Josh is a guy who's always had that, but just hasn't had the opportunity to show it. And like Coach said in the locker room, I mean, he, he's been patient waited his turn and this is just that the world is seeing this. We already knew that he could do this and he got a lot more. What'd you uh think of the lineup, the starting lineup? It was it was big and it was not one that you guys have used much this year. Oh, uh, I mean that's I feel like we got so many guys for a coach can go with any lineup and I feel like we're gonna be successful. Honestly, that's that's what I feel like the good part of our team is I mean we got so many different threats that we can change it up all the time and throw different lineups at every team. This lineup was a great lineup to show some size and get like rebounds, protect the rim, and do all those type of things. So like I said, I mean, I feel like it's a good thing for our team that we had those many guys. How's your hip? It was good, it was good. It seemed like you were grabbing it, uh, grabbing at it or your side or something. Yeah, no, nah, it was just itching. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anything else for Jalen? Okay, Jalen, thank, thank you very much. Is there a job? Go ahead and uh, is there Continue on with Luther here. Thanks. I'll ask uh, about the line of the decision to go big. Uh, what, was, what went into that? Uh, what went into that was just basically like the dominance of Malcolm last game at Tulane. I just saw that, and I was like, man, him, Dre, and Jalen together, all three of those guys would be tough to guard in that paint. You know, I know that they play a couple bigs but they don't have as much size as we have. And we really wanted to live in the paint and have opportunities for offensive rebounding and just really winning a different way. We knew we were going to get our threes up and our small lineups were going to be out there, but I wanted to start with giving them. I felt like it was our best defensive group, and I felt like it was our best group to get the ball inside and try to pound the paint. With Josh, after the old Miss game, you said that was his breakout game, but is it fair to say today was really kind of his, like his true breakout game? Yeah, for sure, because I've been talking to him a lot. He came up and watched film. The other day, and me and him have kind of started this relationship. He's kind of been quiet all year, kind of staying to himself, even though I talk to him on the court. Just getting him to come upstairs and to my office and watch film and start talking about the game more and where he can affect the game and just staying on him and staying with him has really helped him a lot. His ability is amazing. He hasn't always had the, the utmost confidence all the time because he, he's a freshman. He doesn't know where to go, but he gives it his, his all all the time. And with a team full of so much talent, it's kind of taken us a while for the – for kind of the dust to settle on what lineups really need to work because he's got in there early in the season and then there was a break where I really went with the older guys trying to win and we were losing. So I'm sure that was discouraging to him, but overall, like Jalen said, he's been patient and now he's getting his chance.
Do you feel vindicated um, after a win like this? I mean, like you took a lot of criticism and, and heat after the Tulane loss, missing Imani and Jalen and DeAndre. <laughs> it's funny you say that you take a lot of heat and you're missing your three best players, but okay. It's heat. A, I mean, I've, I've been the, uh, the the topic of conversation in Memphis all year in a negative light, and all I'm going to do is, is stay steady. Stay, you know, understand what we're doing. Keep trying to get my team better every game. And then I think that the cream will definitely rise to the top. It's not even about me. You know, I'm here for the city, for the school, for my players. The criticism, if we lose, I'll take it, you know, because I have to, I have to get these guys better. But it's kind of funny when you're missing that. Give me any team in this conference that can lose three starters and still go on the road and beat anybody. I mean, that's really tough. I and mean, we still had a chance to win the, win the game. But I get it. They're looking at our talent, our roster, and not giving anybody else any respect. And expecting for us to win every game. I was expecting for us to be 12 and 0 right now. We weren't. Stuff happens. Got to deal with it, and you got to get past it. Defensively, you guys held them to 29 percent shooting. I know ETN hit his average, but do you feel like you guys got to, kind of got back to what you guys want the team to be defensively today? Yeah, he's such a great player. He takes tough shots. He makes tough shots. So we wanted to make sure he was taking tough shots. And if he was making them, then we were going to live with it. But yeah, we kind of got back to understanding the most dangerous, and he's the most dangerous. Not that Ricky Council or Dexter Dennis or those guys today he can't play. They go through him. He's the man. So you're going to make him take tough shots and just uh, on the other end make him play. Halo and Imani update? Halo's uh, on, on probably going to be out for a while. His ankle is just going to rest his ankle. Imani will get an update when we get back. Anything else for Coach today? Just real quick, didn't it just feel like you guys had always uh, just imposed your will on what I'll say? Like you guys are always you know, comfortable. Uh, offense and defense? Man, this is a tough team. You know how hard it is to win here. He said that. I Believe me, my first year I came here, we were down so quick, but we got back into the game and won. Jeremiah Martin went crazy in the second half, and we won. So we come back the next time, we got down big, got back into the game, tied it up, and then they won. So it's always going to be a battle here, no matter what, because they always play hard. I don't never get comfortable coming here. I think what makes us play hard is that we know if we don't, we're going to get blown out. So you just can't. you got to play when you come here. So two out of your last three games, Alabama, uh, here, even at Tulane, you had 52 points in the second half. Are you guys starting to find that chemistry and find that rhythm, that groove? You know, I think we are. Uh, you know, when you're scoring that amount of points in, in a half in a college basketball game, uh, you know, 20 minute halves, I mean, you're, you're finding some type of rhythm. You're scoring high points, but we're losing the defensive side. So it's like we'll have the offense going, defense leaves. We'll have the defense going, offense leaves. So we got to try to bring those two together, but I am happy with where we're going offensively. Can you sense that confidence is growing in the, in the locker room? Yeah, I can. You know, even though we lost to Tulane, no, Tulane played, a, they shot the ball really well. You got to get hats off to them, no matter if we had three starters missing or whatever. Uh, but we're still, this group has the momentum from the Alabama game. You can just tell the energy when Jalen and Dre came back because they haven't played since the Alabama game. With Earl, I know he had some dealing with some foul stuff today, but what have you kind of seen from him as kind of like that lead guard these past two games? He's starting to get his rhythm. You know, he's coming off neck surgery, then he had a knee injury, uh, and he wasn't able to play against Alabama, but was ready to play against Tennessee. And you can just tell his rhythm's coming, man. I think it's so many different variables that are going into our season, just kind of being rocky early. 17, two 17-year-olds coming in, playing big minutes. Then Jalen turns 18. And then you got Earl coming in off surgery. You got DeAndre Landers in the group from last year really trying to find their way, like, okay, where do we fit in at? And then you got five other, three other good, four really good freshmen there trying to find their way. So it seems like it's starting to settle now after the Alabama game and today's game. Jason, one more. Yeah. Uh, sounds like what Jalen said that Josh was kind of the topic of conversation in the locker room after this game. Was that? Was that yeah, I gave him all of it. I said I was so proud of him because he's had to wait his turn. And uh, it's better late than never. And he's a guy that's always showed promise and uh, that we're looking for big things from. What was keeping him off the floor? The, the, the deep bench. <laughs> you know, it was a deep bench and veterans that were playing at a high level. So they were keeping him off the floor. You know, you, you try to find minutes for him, which I did. And if you're not playing those minutes in a, in a fashion of where you give me confidence to keep you out there, whether it's giving up rebounds or whatever, you got to put your best back on the floor. I went with my vets early, with the exception of Imani and Jalen, who were the number one and number two players in the country, respectively. So, I mean, he just got caught in that, that mix. You know, I went with my older guys first and those two guys. So, you know, he's starting to get his rhythm. It's getting later in the season. He's went through the non-conference. He's getting better. He's not the same Josh now that he was 
five games ago. So he's actually getting better. So athletically, he's off the charts, but now he's starting to figure it out.